And I thought this was gonna be the end. I don't think this is the end. I don't think this is the end. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, if you're new, we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap-up tier list, with the occasional like random ranking and game board content. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. The second part came out earlier in the year, which by the way is my worst rated movie of the year. It definitely is out of like 50 movies that I've seen. So my theory of Laura being in a coma after being shot, you know, that whole like, <laughs> like evil twin. We had evil twin. In case you missed it. it, takes, you know, like the place of the husband, Massimo. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna be in a coma, you know, Massimo's gonna be all creepy, kind of violating her. But that didn't happen. But from part part two to here, I guess the months that passed within when they were released is kind of the same thing because we saw her scar. But we just not shut off like five minutes in with like a sex scene or three minutes in because like Massimo's all like, no, like the doctor said, no. You know, I don't want to hurt you and this is a neck. Like, Laura's like, Rah. But then like five minutes later, or 10 minutes later, he didn't seem to have a problem when she came in like waltzing in, like while he's having a, a meeting with like a cute little black cocktail dress. And I honestly thought that they were going to make a big deal about the scar. I was like, oh, when she's coming back, she's going to be like, oh, you know, or like it's going to open or something. I'm like, wait, but I think I remember seeing the scar and it looked pretty like intact. Like I don't think it would have opened up, but maybe like internally, seeing that they did talk about it, I felt like they should have mentioned something about it. But we never hear about that scar or her situation again. Uh, but yeah, it's like two minutes later, that's when we get into the nitty gritty. <laughs> what is this movie even about? I mean, I don't know. It just kind of exists. Be, I guess, like a fancier erotic porn movie let me get some of my notes because i took notes um also also you guys i was like kind of trying to fall asleep oh so it was five minutes later okay not ten it was five minutes later they were like all good right lovey dovey oh my god and then like bam like next thing is like he's drunk in his feelings massimo trying to find out what happened uh with laura and nacho you know at the island when she left uh for that party after she thought she saw uh, Massimo screwing that other lady, but it was actually the evil twin brother. Uh, like all the movies, we get like montage, montage, montage. Um, the only good thing I think about the movie is probably the soundtrack. <laughs> Olga, the, the best friend, is also g getting married. So it's like, it seems like they're planning the wedding. I guess she's designing the dress. I don't remember because like these movies, like I forget about them. That's why I had to make sure I took notes because then I would forget because I'm... I'm trying to like get it out of my head. Massimo, he got like into cocaine. Like it was, it was funny because it was like a montage and like he's like, you know, with the cocaine and then like we never, we never saw it again. <laughs> a whole thing of was this really ever going to work out? No, honey, it was not. You were kidnapped. You then got Stockholm Syndrome. You married him because, you know, you ended up like falling for him and then he like gave it to you good. That was all it was. It was just lust. It was lust, lust, lust. And then like Nacho came around, kind of like best friend, was like, oh, it's my best friend. It's my best friend. And I want that dong. So it was like, oh my God, like who do I want to go with? Massimo, Nacho, I got these two handsome men. Massimo was not that cute for me. I would have kept Nacho, honestly. Plus, Nacho did not kidnap you. He had his own like plot in part two, right? But then he seems kind of sincere. But regardless of the fact of him deceiving you in part two for the reasons that he deceived you, he did not kidnap your ass. I'm just saying. Before I give you my score, <laughs> that's where I'm gonna leave it. If you're like, oh my gosh, Stephanie, this review, because it's not really a review, right? It's just like thoughts. Thoughts that entered my mind when I was watching this movie. Nothing makes sense, you guys. Nothing made sense. If you haven't already, please give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Of course, but of course, but of course, this is getting a popcorn kernel, which is the lowest of the lowest of, my, you know what? Just like my brother-in-law, let's get an outside. Here. If you've seen the next 365 days, let me know what you thought about it down below. Please don't watch it. But if you're gonna watch it, or if you watched it, what are your thoughts? Please share. Alright, that's it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys in concessions. Bye.